Hello everyone, my name is Luke and today we're going to be learning to kick the moon, okay? Pretty simple trick um, which involves you kicking your leg, your dominant leg, over your shoulder, not quite straight over your head um, to get the rotation done and you land back on your kicking leg, okay? Many different names for the kick the moon, um, obviously kick the moon being one of them, slant gainer, cheat gainer, j-step gainer, all of these things are used to describe the same movement um, and you can add your own style in when you develop the necessary skills to be able to land it and be comfortable with it. But all of the tricks start exactly the same way, okay? So you start off with what's called a J-step. Now a J-step is, as it says in the name, you sort of create a J with your feet, okay? So I just kick my right leg. So my left leg will be forward, I'll put my right leg down, I'll turn with my left leg facing slightly outwards, and swing my right leg through over my shoulder. So when you start the J-step, you can either have two or three steps. Um, you can have as many as you like really, but I'd say two or three steps is all you really need um, to get enough power out of the J-step. When I first started, I ended up doing about five or six, seven steps, um, and I just looked like an idiot running around in circles before I actually did the trick. So start off with about two or three steps, okay? So as I said, one foot's forward. For me, I kick my right leg. Um, so all I'm gonna do is have my left foot forward, I'll step with my right leg, step with my left leg. As I step with my left leg, ready to swing my right, you can see that my arms and my right leg is back, okay? So when I'm about to go into the kick the moon, J-step gain, or whatever you want to call it, my arms and my leg is back, so I can swing them both up together. Swinging your arms and legs together in sync is extremely important. If you leave your arms behind and you just kick your leg, what tends to happen is your top half will go back down to the floor and you'll just kick around with your obviously your leg um, and you won't get a lot of height and your head will be very, very low to the floor. So it's important that when you kick, you drive your arms up to get you that height. Have an open chest, you don't want to be closed in like this. You want to get your chest nice and up and open. Reach up for that sky as you drive your leg over your shoulder. What you want to do with your head in this trick, okay? You don't want to tilt your head directly back, but you want to sort of look over your shoulder. So I'm kicking my right leg, which means my left shoulder slightly drops. That's also important. If you don't drop your shoulder, what you're gonna do is just go straight over your head and then it will be a complete backflip off one leg, okay? So when I'm going and I'm ready to swing my arms and leg in sync, I bring them both up and I drop my left shoulder just slightly as I keep my chest open. My head will sort of look to the left. That way I can try and spot the floor. Now, when I'm actually in the air, this is the easiest part, I promise you. All you need to do is keep your legs straight. If you kick with a bent leg, you won't get a lot of power because you're driving that knee up. If you kick with a straight leg, you can cut through the air almost and get a super, super fast rotation. When you're coming down, you'll come down and you'll land on your kicking leg. So obviously for me, my right leg is my kicking leg, which means I'll land on that leg first and you'll have a lot of sideways momentum. So what tends to happen is this. You sort of spin around like that. Also, when you're in the air, you need to make sure that you keep your leg nice and straight. So obviously I've mentioned that when you take off, your right leg or your kicking leg wants to be really, really straight, uh, as straight as it can possibly be. When you're in the air, you don't want to hunch it up, because um, if you do, then you're going to land quite low to the ground. You could bang your knee, um, your ankle could give way, and if you're anything like me, sort of bad joints, um, feeling a little bit old, your ankles will feel a little bit of pain, obviously, if you're landing quite low to the ground. Um, as I mentioned before, just land nice and straight and you'll get a lot of sideways momentum. What we're looking at is to land on the balls of our foot. And for those of you who don't know, the ball of our foot is basically this bit here. If you imagine this being my foot. So the toes would be here, the arch of the foot would be there, and that's the heel. The, to uh, the ball of the foot is just below the toes and just above the arch. Um, the reason for that is that's the most cushioned area. So when we're landing, we've got a lot of padding for that area to absorb the landing. Um, and when you do land, you don't want to keep a dead straight leg because um, then you have the risk of obviously popping your knee out um, and no one wants that. Um, so you do need to bend a little bit, okay? Also, when you're taking off of your left foot, if that's the foot that you take off of, you want to take off the ball of your foot and spring for your toes. You don't want to take off your heel or take off sideways or anything crazy like that. Okay guys, so to summarize, with a kick the moon, the first thing you need to do is figure out your J-step. Okay, so you need to practice this a few times because this is really, really important. Um, so just to reiterate, I'm gonna take two steps into this. Okay, so my left foot would be forward. I'm gonna step with my dominant leg, which is my kicking leg. So right, I turn back on myself with my leg slightly turned on my left, and I swing my right leg and my arms up together in sync. 
Okay, I'm going over my left shoulder, which means my left shoulder slightly drops. If you kick your uh, left leg and you're going over your right shoulder, obviously you want to drop your right shoulder slightly. I'm going to look to that shoulder just slightly. I'm going to keep my leg nice and straight as I'm kicking through the air. I'm going to land on the balls of my foot, bend my knee just slightly as I land, and I'm going to have a little bit of sideways momentum, okay? So there are a few progressions into this trick, okay? The first one, if you can already backflip, this trick should be super, super easy for you, okay? It may take a couple of, um, couple of minutes, maybe a few hours to master, but it should be pretty easy, um, as it's pretty much a backflip, just slightly angled, okay? I'll show you all of those just now. Step one. Step two. Step three. Now this is actually quite difficult and a lot harder than a kicking in itself. So if you can do this, you want to a winner. Step four. So this is the one where I do the J-step gainer. I grab a tuck and I'm going sort of straight over my head this time, land on two feet. So J-step, start with a left foot forward, right, left, two foot landing. Step five. All we do differently this time is we don't grab a tuck, so we do what's called a layout just go around completely open. Okay, J step, left foot forward, right, left. Step six. So this is more like the kick the moon itself, we're doing everything we just did in that previous step, but this time we're gonna only land on one leg. So the trick to that, keep one leg nice and strong and drop one leg back. Remember, if you kick your right leg, you land on your right leg. Kick your left leg, you land on your left leg. Okay, let's go. J step, left foot forward, right, left. Okay, so there was one way to learn the kick the moon in six steps. Now, obviously the first time you actually get to step six and try the kick the moon, it's not gonna be that great, okay? You're gonna land on your one leg, you might fall over a little bit. So make sure you get nice and comfortable and confident with that, where you can consistently land on that strong leg um, and not fall over before you start adding in style. Then you can work on, you know, getting it a little bit more vertical, keeping those toes pointed if you really, really care about form and things like that, if you're a tricker, keeping your leg nice and straight, land on the balls of your foot, and stuff like that, okay? The next way you can learn, maybe a little bit easier if you've never done like a backflip or anything before, okay? All we're gonna do differently is we're gonna do a kick the moon, but we're gonna do it really, really, really light. So the first step with this one, all we're gonna do is do a really, really light kick the moon. So remember everything I taught you in the first part of this tutorial, all we're gonna do is make it on a much smaller scale. So instead of going absolutely diagonal, we're gonna go really, really light. So I'm kicking my right leg, all you do is that. All we're going to do is simply keep getting it more slanted, higher and slightly more looking like a kick the moon until we actually get the kick the moon. Forward, right, left, right, left, the moon. Awesome, you've got your kick the moon. Now you want to get it looking a little bit more flashy, do a couple more tricks into the kick the moon, maybe out of the kick the moon. So here's a few things you can do to make your kick the moon look slightly better. Number one, you can grab your crotch. Sometimes I like to do this, it may seem a bit weird, but it looks good. Check this out. Progression two. What you can do now is go into a scoop and then the kick the moon, okay? I'm not gonna tell you how to scoop. That will come in another tutorial. If you wanna learn quicker than that, look at somebody else's tutorial. I'm sure they'll cover everything, okay? So here it is. Progression three. Now you can try and do it from a very, very minimalistic setup. Okay, so in this instance, I'm gonna do one step. Okay, so left foot's forward, I'm kicking my right leg. This one is quite difficult, really hard to get power. Okay, mm -hmm. rock back into it. Progression number four. Okay, you don't have to do any of these, but the last one that I will show you is you can do a complete turn back on yourself and then go more straight over your head, okay? So what I'm gonna do this time, is I'm gonna start with my left foot forward again, have my right foot, and then a complete 180 turn, and try and go more straight over my head. Left foot forward, right, left. Okay, so that is the end of my Kick the Moon tutorial. Um, Please feel free to pause the video at any time so you can see any of the videos that I show you or to rewind it and go through any of the steps that you want. Um, also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my team Spiral Freeruns channel 
check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of that, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what tutorial you'd like to see. Tell me if this tutorial has helped you in any way. Share it with your friends. Make sure as many people see it as possible. I'm trying to grow so I can help you guys. And that is it for this tutorial. Peace.